Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really, really, really fun video. At least for me, this is gonna be so much fun because I love foundations. And today I basically thought I would show you my foundation collection and give you mini little reviews on each of the foundations. Some of these I've had for a while. Some are my tried and true foundations. Others are newer to my collection. And honestly, some of them I am planning on returning them because I didn't like them or for some reason they just didn't work for me so let's start off with a good one now this is the NARS velvet matte skin tint with SPF 30 and sunscreen this is in the shade Malaga which is medium dark one if any of you are curious about my foundation shades I will tell you each of my foundation shades in all of these products that way you guys are you know have some idea of whether these will work for you if we have similar skin tones I would definitely describe my skin as it's not super dry it's definitely drier in the winter in the summer it's more normal obviously I live in a very very cold climate in the winter time it gets so so cold here it feels like Alaska so I'm always dealing with different skin types and also tones because I do lighten up quite a bit in the winter time so sometimes I do have foundation shades that work in the winter some that work in the summer and I will show you some things that I use in between to kind of get by as well and this I like to use in the summertime again the shade is more of a summer shade because it does have a very warm undertone so I don't really use this very much in the winter it's also nice because it does have SPF in it so it does provide sun protection which is very important for your skin I think this is pretty full coverage for me I know it said it was a skin tint but honestly this is a bomb skin tint I don't think you're gonna like this if you have oily skin because it's pretty emollient it feels very creamy and that's what you're gonna see in my my foundation collection I love liquid foundations I'm not really into powder foundations at all liquids work just well for me I love putting them on I you know I love using a beauty blender or a beauty sponge that's my preferred method of foundation and I think cream foundations or liquid foundations just work really well with my skin so I do really like this first yeah. one now this is an oldie but a goodie and this is the shade spice sand 4 and 2 in the Estee Lauder double wear maximum cover this shade is definitely more of a wintry shade for me and this is my full coverage foolproof makeup like I can go a whole day with this foundation and I definitely don't need a lot I love the packaging it's a little squeezy tube I've had this guy for at least a year and a half two years and I'm nowhere near getting through it this contains one fluid ounce and I just love how well this blends how great it just works on my skin it gives me an awesome full coverage look next up is a affordable foundation this is a wet n wild photo focus foundation in the shade desert beige medium dark and this is what the bottle looks like this is a $5.99 foundation and it is amazing again you get one fluid ounce most foundations are one fluid ounce I guess I'll tell you if it's not one fluid ounce that would probably be easier than me telling you every single time but it has this cool little paddle to get the product out so you can kind of dab it all over your face you don't even need to use your finger and then just go in with a beauty sponge I think I can get medium to almost full coverage with this I don't have very problematic skin I do have some dark spots here and there but I don't really have a problem covering those up and honestly for $5.99 you cannot go wrong and they have a ton of shades too I think this might be the one before the last shade so I don't know if you're super dark if they have options for you but if you are my skin tone or lighter I think you might be able to find one that'll work for you and I do think that for the price that is an amazing foundation um, let's talk about one I don't really like this is the Mac studio fix fluid and this has SPF 15 I might actually be able to wear this now that it's more of the summer months and I'm getting tanner but I think I bought this in the winter and of course this is like totally off I get so confused by MAC shades because this is NC44 as well in the MAC Studio Sculpt SPF 15 foundation and this works really well with me in the winter time but I bought NC44 in the Studio Fix fluid and they're like completely different shades so that's very confusing so I don't have a ton to say about this foundation I believe this was supposed to be pretty full coverage, but I wasn't impressed with this at all So I'm gonna have to keep trying this because again, it's pretty new in my collection and we'll see I don't wear a lot of Mac foundation So this was me like attempting to dabble and it didn't go so well But now that I'm tanner I might try it again and if it works out I'm sure you guys will see it in a favorites video 
Let's talk about the other MAC foundation I picked up. This is the Studio Sculpt again, and this foundation is amazing. Again, I love liquid foundations that are full coverage. I'm a full coverage girl. I don't have time for like a tint or like a BB cream. I love having my face on, you know, the whole day. I don't want to have to touch up and powder and things like that. And I just love the texture of this foundation. I think it's very long wearing. And again, the shade is NC44. It's a brilliant foundation. So if you're looking for a nice foundation from the go because it comes in a nice tube I would definitely recommend this product to you guys next let's talk about one that I haven't used too much either but is again very affordable this is the elf oil-free SPF 15 sunscreen foundation I don't know it says it has a six month shelf life which is not very long but I love the packaging of this it's very NARS esque which is awesome for you know an affordable brand like elf and this does not have one fluid ounce this is 0.68 fluid ounces so that's quite a bit less but again this is a six dollar foundation it's nice and full coverage the shade it works really well with me and I can't complain. I haven't worn this in a while so I can't tell you exactly my thoughts on it but I remember it being good and it was good enough that I kept it so obviously if you're in a pinch or you just are in between shades or you just want something affordable to mix in with other foundations I would totally recommend this elf one. I thought it was really really good. Here's another one that I just bought because I fell into the hype. Everyone talks about this. It cosmetics. Your Skin But Better CC Plus Full Coverage Cream has anti-aging hydrating serum and has 50% SPF. Now, I bought this in the shade tan. They actually don't, they have like five shades and these are supposed to like adjust to your skin tone. I don't have a problem with that. I just didn't really care for this foundation. I didn't think it was exceptionally good. I didn't think it was like exceptionally worth paying. I think these are like 38 bucks or something. It was okay, but I just don't understand the hype with this product. I think it's an okay foundation, but like I said, I love full coverage, so this was not one of my favorite foundations by any means. Next, I'm going to talk to you guys about these little things. These are now quite the hit. A lot of brands kind of have mixing mediums. These are the NYX ones that I have, and they're called the Pro Foundation Mixers. They have about five or six shades of these, and basically what these do is you can mix these into your foundation to kind of change the color. So I have a white and a warmth, and the reason I bought the warmth was to warm up some of my winter shades so I could use my foundations more, and then the Pro Foundation mix in the shade white I bought to lighten up some of my summer shades so like I should probably pair these two together and tried it honestly half the time I do forget to use these but they do come in handy every once in a while and so if you you know tan very easily or you're always self tanning or spray tanning these are nice to have so you don't have to buy like eight different kinds of foundation so check those out they're very affordable from the brand NYX now here is a foundation I was so so curious to try and I've heard good things about this. This is the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation and I picked this up, I mean a while ago and I don't know, I feel like this is you know, liquid foundation but it comes in a tub and it's called a gel foundation and I was expecting this to be really really full coverage. Again, it's hard for me to test hydrating foundations in the summertime because my skin gets really dry in the winter, not so much in the summer but I'm just not feeling this. This is in the shade Medium Tan Sand and I just don't like this foundation and I feel like maybe if it was you know winter I might be able to give this foundation a better shot. I just have so many other foundations that I really like that I'm actually going to be returning this foundation but if you have this foundation can you guys let me know if you have dry skin if it actually works for you because I would be so so curious to find out about that. Next, I have a brand new foundation that I keep meaning to put in one of my first impressions videos and I haven't gotten around to it yet, but this is the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation and this also comes with 0.95 ounces and this is in the shade beige. I feel like this is going to be too light for me now because again, I'm quite tan, so maybe I'll save this for the fall or winter time, but I've heard good things about this foundation. I just haven't tried it out myself, so I don't have an opinion to give you on it right meow. Next foundation. Let's talk about this one. This was in my recent uh, Get Ready With Me featuring the Naked Heat palette. This is the Dior Skin Forever Tint Haute Perfection SPF 35 Shine Control Foundation and this is in the shade 041 and this is made in France and it's by Christian Dior. It's a very pricey foundation. Probably the most expensive foundation in my collection right now and I was just so curious to try this out because everyone was talking about this and then the VIB sale came along 
well. So I was like, why not? This is the perfect opportunity to check out this high-end foundation. And honestly, I thought it worked really well on my skin, but I could not wear this for a long time. It maybe worked like two hours and then it would just start fading. And I just didn't like that about foundation. I don't like that about foundation, especially an expensive foundation. And usually when I wear foundation, it needs to last the whole day because like I said, I don't like to touch up my foundation. So this to me worked really well, but was not long wearing and that's a problem, especially when it's so expensive. And this thing oxidizes like a beast. So if you wanna see this in action, watch my Naked Heat video. I will link it up in the cards and I wear this and you can see it oxidizing on my face and it just wears so beautifully but it's just not worth it because I can't wear it all day long which again is a problem so I'm taking that back as well just so you guys know. Another foundation that I honestly hate and I don't know why people hype this foundation up is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. Now like I said in the winter time anything with the word water, hydration, this like piqued my interest and so so many people have talked about how this foundation is their favorite but this honestly Honestly, I don't know what it is that I don't like about this foundation. When I put it on, it looks amazing in the mirror. Like when I look at my skin from a distance in the mirror, it looks amazing. But when I use my simple human mirror and I'm up close, I can like see streaks on my face, which drives me crazy. Like it never truly like blends for me, which is a problem. And I know you have to shake this foundation and it has like a cool dropper and all that crap, but I would never repurchase this foundation. I thought it was awful. I hate wearing this. Sometimes Sometimes I like try to give it a second, third, fifth, sixth chance, but I really, really, really don't like this foundation. I wouldn't recommend it one bit if you have skin like mine. Okay, next we're gonna talk about another drugstore foundation that I love. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This stuff is bomb skis. I don't know what it is about this combination, especially in the winter time. It works so well on my skin. It actually makes my skin glow, and I love that about this foundation. It's very decent color. Coverage. I would say most people would think that this was like a medium, but this covers up my skin really, really well. I just love this stuff and you get plenty of product. I haven't even been through one of these. Obviously, I have a ton of foundation, but I think this would last you a decent amount of time. And this is what, like $10 at the drugstore. It says it's up to 24 hour foundation. I don't think it's going to last quite that long, but I can get through a workday solid with these. And the two shades I have are 209, which is caramel beige and 211, which is creme cafe, which I kind of wear in the summertime and this is more my wintry shade. I love this foundation so, so much. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely do. They also have a matte version of this foundation. Not a fan of that, but I love this one. And then since we're on the L'Oreal train, I'm going to talk about the Infallible Total Cover Foundation. I have this in the shade 309, which is caramel beige. People did not like this foundation, but I freaking love this foundation. It is full coverage, has a weightless feel, and it comes with one ounce of product. And I honestly think for full coverage this is amazing it reminds me so much of my Estee Lauder double wear so if you don't want to try double wear and you want like a cheap trick check this out because it's amazing it's full coverage if you don't like full coverage don't get it it's very thick that's what I like I love thick foundations and blend those suckers in and make them work so these are my tried and true L'Oreal foundations and I love them so much there is not enough good things I could say about those foundations to you guys Next, let's talk about the foundation I have on today. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Now, I wanted to love this foundation so badly. I tried so hard to love this foundation, and honestly, I probably would if I could find my right shade. I tried getting color matched to this foundation, and there is no shade for my skin tone. This is in the shade Ginger, number 23, and honestly, this is just too orange for my skin tone. And I wore this today, and I think it looks really good. It's just that when I look at my skin in natural light I can see a line like I can see orange like on my neck and that is not a good look for me that is the biggest problem with having my skin tone because I don't have an orange like peachy undertone I have an olive like yellow undertone so it's really hard for me to find foundations even though they look like they're my skin tone they aren't the right undertone it looks odd when I wear the wrong shade I can totally tell and some people that are familiar with my skin tone can also tell when I wear the wrong shade so I wanted to love this foundation so badly but again this one is getting returned because it just did not work with my skin tone it's a good formula it of course reminds me a lot of the Milani conceal and correct foundation or whatever they have 
that's supposed to be an exact dupe of this. Now in that foundation, I can wear the shade, one of the darker shades, works really well. It has an olive undertone, it's not orange. Um, so I will just buy that instead of this and call it quits with Clinique. Me and Clinique are breaking up and it's over now. So just, you, just letting you guys know. Okay, so I have been hating on Tarte this whole video. So let me hate on them one more time and then we're done. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage foundation. Now of course the word full coverage sank to me, sank to me like a little bitch and I was like give it to me, give me that full coverage. And I've heard so many people talk so much about these foundations, especially this one and I just don't like it. Like I know it's full coverage but I just don't like how it looks on my skin. I don't like how it applies. It just doesn't feel full coverage to me at all really. And it might be because I got the wrong color. I feel like this is a little too light for me. This is shade Tan Sand. And it says it's 12 hour makeup and oil free. And I believe Tarte is cruelty free as well if you're interested in that. I love the packaging. I love everything this stands for. It just was not for me. So I will be returning this as well. Next product I want to talk about is this guy. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. Now if you haven't tried Estee Lauder and you have my skin or my skin type, you guys need to try this. This is amazing. Um, you probably will love this if you have oily skin. You're probably not going to like this if you have really, really dry skin. But if you have like a little bit of dry skin or normal skin or oily skin, you're going to love this. This is full coverage, lasts all day, and now they're coming out with a another version of this. I can't wait for that to hit like Macy's and stuff so I can order it online. This foundation is the bomb and it doesn't come with a pump. So if you have Estee Lauder Double Wear, this is a MAC pump and you can just order that on the MAC Cosmetics website and it fits perfectly on the Estee Lauder Double Wear bottle. Next foundation I want to talk about is this guy. This is Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup in the shade 7.0. Now I have had a long history with Urban Decay. If you guys watched my reacting to my first YouTube video, a lot of the products I talk about in that video are from Urban Decay. So I have loved Urban Decay for a long time. Unfortunately, I haven't really found a lot of foundations recently from them that I like. That one with the cool packaging, that was a disaster. That thing oxidized on my face and I just had the worst time with it. But I wanted to try the Naked Skin by Urban Decay because a lot of people say this looks so, so natural but gives you like a flawless airbrush look. And I'm just realizing this has a six month shelf life, which is not something I was paying attention to. So. I need to make sure this is still good because I feel like I've had it for more than six months. But overall, I didn't feel like it did anything like over the top for my face. But again, this is more of a wintry shade for me and I haven't worn it in a while. So I couldn't 100% tell you that I like completely hate this, but I don't completely love it either. It wasn't anything that stood out in my mind. Like I didn't, it didn't stand out that I didn't like it, but it didn't stand out for the fact that I did like it either. So it's just kind of a meh foundation that it's too late to return. So I just kind of have it. Next, let's talk about this guy. This is the Elsie Micro Silk Foundation, one fluid ounce, and I have the shade Honey. And uh, I picked this up because Ashani from Total Makeup Junkie 101 raves about this foundation. And I think it's good. I don't think it's, you know, anything over the top. I need to play with this some more as well. This is quite new to my collection, but if you saw it in my first impressions video on LC Cosmetics, I did really like how it looked on my skin. I thought the undertone was pretty good, so it is a good foundation. I just think it's a little bit overpriced. It's like $45 and they don't do free shipping unless you spend $75, which I think is a really high price bracket to hit to get free shipping. Yeah, it's a good foundation. I don't think good or bad, but okay, let's talk about one more that I'm on the fence about. This is the Fiona Styles Luminous Finish foundation concentrate in the shade number eight. Now these I think are getting discontinued. I think Fiona Styles is getting pulled from Ulta which is sad because it I don't think it even lasted a year in Ulta stores so yeah I don't know what to tell you but uh, this was like 14 bucks because I got it on like clearance and uh, I need to try this out in the winter. Unfortunately the wrong season to be trying this because it's very luminous and dewy looking and I really don't like that look for the summertime. Really really dry 
dry skin if this is still available definitely snatch it up um, maybe she has her own website I don't know what the whole deal was with this brand but it didn't last very long so I've heard really good things about that foundation I think Tati Glam Life Guru talked about it that's how I learned about the brand but yeah foundation really doesn't stand out in my brain but just wanted to talk about it because of course I'm showing you guys all of my foundations today next I have this guy now this is pretty new to my collection as well this is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 hour makeup with sunscreen SPF 15 this is in the shade 460 uh, but I've heard nothing but good things about this foundation I feel like it's a little bit dark on my skin tone but it's so hard for me to tell because when I put a foundation on in the morning I'm surrounded by artificial light and it makes it look okay but then really in natural light is when I can tell I feel like this is a little bit darker than I am right now but maybe in the height of summer this will probably work really well with my skin tone so I'm gonna keep trying this for you guys this is not getting returned just yet because I did think the coverage was pretty good now is this foundation gonna last me 24 hours I don't think so I don't think any foundation is gonna last 24 hours on your face if it does that's a little scary but overall I like the packaging it is a bit of a pricey foundation but I'm gonna keep testing that one out because I feel like there's a winner in there I just need to find I just need to find what I like about that foundation because I haven't really narrowed it down yet now one that is so so affordable from Ulta as well this is the new brand at Ulta called Models Own and this is the runway foundation and this is matte and oil free and I have the shade Honey Tan I actually reviewed this or did a first impressions on this I will link it up above but this foundation wears beautifully on my skin it has that perfect texture that works really well with my skin and this contains one fluid ounce I love squeezy tube packaging because I think it's so great to travel with and this foundation is hella full coverage and I love the shade I think it works really well with me it has it's not too orange and it's not extremely olivey but I think this tone just works really well for me so if you're looking for a really really affordable full coverage foundation I would recommend checking this out at Ulta. Okay, so this foundation is the only foundation that isn't a liquid in my collection. This is the Hourglass the Vanish Foundation. This is their stick foundation that came out last year. And I haven't used a ton of it, but honestly, guys, this foundation is freaking amazing. I thought maybe I wouldn't like it, but I honestly love it. This is the shade Amber. I can't tell how much shelf life this is, but I love this foundation. What a great travel friendly product it's a stick it works so well it looks like butter it blends it's really good coverage you can add it you know like if you're like streaky or blotchy you can just quickly retouch with this and I just think this is a bomb ass foundation I would definitely repurchase this foundation over and over again and it's definitely like a treasured foundation in my collection okay guys the last foundation in this video is my tried and true this is a foundation I've been using the longest I've been using this probably since like my junior or sophomore year of college this is the NARS sheer glow foundation in the shade Syracuse and that's medium dark one and this is a amazing some people hate this foundation like sheer glow is for dry skin they also have another formula for oily skin so if you're oily skin you're probably not gonna like sheer glow but this used to be a YouTube like hit back in the day is what I've heard but I've been using this foundation for a long time and that is not going to change I actually wore this foundation on my wedding day it just works so well with my skin tone it's the perfect undertone for me it's not too peachy it's not too yellow it just works beautifully it's like the exact right tone for my skin tone so I am forever grateful to Mr. Nars for creating a shade that works so well with my skin tone because it is hard when you are tanner to find that right undertone. I think it's hard for everyone. It's not even just about being brown. No matter what skin tone you are, it is hard to match that right undertone, especially if you're red, more red, more peach, more cool tone, more warm tone. Like there's so many fucked up things that we have to deal with as women and finding the right foundation shade just happens to be one of those things. But I'm so, so grateful that through all the ups and downs with all the other foundations, I know my baby NARS always has my back and yeah I think it looked amazing on my wedding day it lasted all day 
I mean, that's a big deal to be able to wear a foundation through your whole wedding because it's not a short day. It's your whole day. You know, you get ready at like nine o'clock in the morning sometimes for these things and you know, you're partying and this and that and I just felt so beautiful and glowy and this is full coverage on me. I don't need a whole lot of it, but it makes my skin look beautiful. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this foundation. So if you have drier to normal skin, I would totally recommend checking out the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Okay guys, that is it for my foundation collection. I hope you guys found this video useful, at least to know what shades I am in all these foundations, because people do leave me comments wondering what shade I am. So some of these were definitely hits and some of these were misses. Some of them are going back to the store, but you guys know I'm 100% transparent with you. If I don't like something, you guys know I can't afford to keep all of this makeup. If it doesn't work for me and I don't like it, I'm definitely taking it back. If you have any questions on anything I talked about today, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe and join the YouTube family if you haven't already. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!